Guys, you will not believe how easy it is to create this liquid animation in DaVinci Resolve. So let's stay on the Fusion page and bring a fast noise node. And we're going to hop onto the color tab first things first and the change to gradient. Now under gradient type, let's change it from uni to linear. Now let's grab that little square on the right and then push it towards the top of the screen Then grab the little square on the left and then position it towards the middle of the screen. All right, so now let's go to the gradient scale and then click on the triangle on the right and then change the color first of all to black and then let's change alpha to zero. So now let's uh, go back to that little setting right underneath it, which is the position setting and then change it to 0 0.3. Now let's click on the triangle on the left and then we're going to change the color first of all and then go back up to that position setting and change it to 0 0.299. So now you might wonder why not change it to 0 0.3? Well, uh, this just from my experience will make it much easier to manage that stream and also visually it doesn't make that much of a difference all right so with that being said let's go back to the noise tab and then play with the seed as well as the seed rate settings uh, so now you guys will see that uh, we have our uh, first wavy action going on so uh, this looks pretty good uh, what we're gonna do right now is to uh, copy and paste this uh, uh, fast noise node now let's go to this new fast noise node go to the color tab and let's change the color first of all and then we're going to play with the all uh, the offset setting here we're going to reduce that that will bring it down a little bit uh, so that it sits right underneath the first one and then uh, we're going to copy and paste this fast noise note one more time now let's go to this new fast noise note go to the color tab change it to white uh, and then adjust the offset uh, position uh, setting here. So now you guys will see that we have three uh, liquid animation happening right now. So the next thing we're gonna do here is to bring the text node and then connect that to media out one. So we're going to write our text in the text box and then uh, bring the size setting all the way up. And then we're also gonna change the font as well. So now let's come to the transform tab, go to size and then just quickly bring up the Y setting here. I wanna stretch out the height of the text a little bit. The next thing we're going to do is to go to the shading tab and then uh, the first thing we're going to do here is to change the type from solid to image. And then what we're going to do next is to drag that merge one note and then drop it onto the color image setting here. So now you will see that this will allow the text to take on that liquid animation that we just created. However, the problem I'm noticing right now is that this animation is applied to every single character rather than the entire text. So in this case, what I'm going to do is to come back to uh, this uh, text node and then let's go to uh, mapping level and then change that to full image. So now this way you will see that this entire uh, liquid animation is now being properly reflected uh, on our text here. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is to copy and paste this text node, and we're going to connect this new text node uh, to the old one as a foreground. So now in this new text node, we're going to go to the shading tab and change appearance uh, to uh, an outline, and then let's adjust the thickness of the outline as well here, but uh, this is all uh, coming together. So the last thing I'm going to do here is to bring a transform note and place it between merge one and text one. Now let's go to the beginning of this uh, clip and then start to drag this animation away from the text, set a keyframe. Now let's go to the end of this video and then start to bring this animation back up towards the top of the text. So now let's uh, bring up the spline editor and uh, start to adjust the easing and ease out for these two keyframes. Now for the second one here on the right, I'm going to actually stretch it out quite a bit. And then for the one on the left, I'm just gonna pop it up uh, here slightly. So now let's uh, close it and go back to the edit page. Let this effect render. And guys, as you can see, this is pretty much it as far as the animation goes. And at this point, guys, you can push this to the second track and then bring a solid color underneath it and then change that color to something different other than black. So now you have this uh, sort of uh, colored background as the backdrop for this animation, or you can replace it for, uh, with an uh, actual video. So we can easily just do that by bringing in a clip and place it again underneath the Fusion Composition clip. So now you will have a video as the backdrop for the uh, liquid animation all right guys so this is it i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and as always i will see you next time